We here at the Toasty Bros are known for putting the RTX 3050 6 gig in absolutely everything. Actually, I don't think we have put it in everything. I think yeah, so. Too easy. All right, next. It also fits very nicely with your holiday cookies. Mmm. Toaster oven revisited? Heck yeah. And also we want to see if it'll fit inside of something like the... But you know what? I have a more practical option, another office PC. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Have you ever wanted to create YouTube videos but hate being on camera? Or maybe you're looking to scale up your content creation without spending a fortune. Well, today's sponsor, Wondershare Verbo, is here to make that dream a reality. Wondershare Verbo is an AI avatar video generator that turns text, photos, or even existing videos into professional quality content in just minutes. Whether you're a creator, a business owner, or someone just with a story to tell, Verbo is the tool to help you level up your game. Here's what makes Verbo so great. It gives you access to over 300 lifelike avatars so you can choose a perfect digital persona to match your brand or style. And on top of that, Verbo lets you speak to the world with over 460 voices available in 90 different languages and accents. And to make things even easier, it integrates seamlessly with ChatGPT 4.0. So scripting and brainstorming ideas, it's practically effortless. Want to see the magic in action? With Verbo, you can make a photo come to life with AI. Clone your voice to create a personal avatar and even use text-to-speech AI to dub your videos. It's like having a full production studio at your fingertips. No camera crew needed. For creators who don't love being in front of the camera, Verbo is a dream come true. You can maintain your privacy while producing engaging, professional content. So if you're ready to save time, cut costs, and elevate your content, check out Wondershare Verbo today. You can use the link in the description down below to see what you can create. Thanks again to Verbo for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it, shall we? All right, gamers, it's time to open up this PC, which is gonna be the canvas for our GPU upgrade. This right here is an HP Pavilion picked up on eBay for $299, and you can still pick these up actually for $299, featuring the i5-12400, 12 gigs of RAM, weird amount, but mm. hopefully dual channel, and a 512 gig SSD, $299. The idea is we will upgrade this thing with an RTX 3050, because you know what? No external power requirements, the best option on the consumer market that can do that, and um, yeah, it makes anything like this into a gaming PC. We also gotta to mention too that Graphics cards are really hard to get right now. They're really overpriced. So 3050 because there's so many different models and honestly, most people want latest and greatest. Uh, so a lot of people are ignoring the 3056 gig. But yeah, the model we have right here for the 3056 gig while Jackson is opening that up is this Asus dual model. You can find a bunch of different ones on Amazon. Really just want to look at 169 to 179 for the best bang for buck. I feel like this is a design we haven't seen very often. This is not a Victus. It looks almost like one without the V, but this is the pavilion, almost like the acid green style, but it's white. Oh, do we get a white keyboard and mouse? Ooh, that definitely looks like non-factory. Yeah, that would have not came with an HP. HP would have not included that. <laughs> It wouldn't have just, it would have said HP on it. Oh, it's white and it's wireless. <gasps> wireless. And, you oh. know what? I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh yeah. Wow. Wireless keyboard and mouse. Mm, okay. It's a little Single better dongle. than HP. All right. Love to see that. Uh, port layout is very basic on these things. They normally always are. Obviously no graphics card installed. We will be changing that. Uh, we have four USB three ports. Uh, we have ethernet and the HDMI. Again, this is a non FCPU, so you can run HDMI or VGA off the integrated graphics if you want to, but we're gonna be upgrading this thing. We'll see what kind of room we have on the inside and the power supply, which regardless doesn't really matter because no six pin required. That's why this GPU is so awesome. But I'm um, just kind of curious what kind of power we're working with here. Yeah, one of the most powerful GPUs in the market that doesn't need external power and it supports three monitors. I think that part's pretty cool too. Uh, pretty clean on the inside actually, like really clean. Um, I guess it is really new, it's 12th gen. I'm so used to these being old, but uh, we do in fact have dual channel RAM. So we have an eight gig stick and a four gig stick. Uh, let's go ahead and see what speed we're running. I'm gonna guess it's 30, 20 megahertz. That'd be cool. What if, was, right. what if it was DDR5? Wouldn't that just be crazy? 12 gigs is nice because obviously better than eight. We've tested systems with the eight. It's really unusable and 12 will get us halfway there. SK Hynix, 30, 20 megahertz. So can't complain about that. We got some pretty fast speeds. Um, we shouldn't even need to mess with thermal paste because it's nope. so new. So that's always nice. Let's we'll see. We got a, is that a Western Angel Black over there? Or maybe it's HP branded? I think it's just HP branded. So gig. probably some generic SK Hynix drive. That's yeah. normally what they are. Um, this is new enough too, where it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into the board, which is really sick. Here's what our power is. So we get an 80 plus gold that is 310 watts. It's actually not like That's terrible. better than I thought. The, yeah. the other ones we've seen, again, I guess at the i5, they put a little more watts in there. Normally they're like 200 to 250. Yeah. So at least we have a little headroom. We're pulling the 75 watts from the PCI slot with this thing. No show about upgraded, because again, yeah. no storage really upgrades. Easy. This is gonna be super easy. And all in all, we are 468 bucks into this bill, which is okay price performance, but it's really about the ease of getting this up and running versus building a custom PC that makes this appealing. Especially with a 12400F, man, it's a really good CPU, still six core 12 threads. So we're gonna 
gonna pop this open here, it's toolless, so that comes open. Uh, and I usually just kind of eyeball line to see the top of the PCB of the graphics card. So that's gonna go here. And uh, these are breakaways, some heavy duty breakaway tabs. I think we're actually good. All right, so we got our two break off tabs open. Uh, sometimes you have to remove this, but I think we can do, oh yeah, check that out, a little maneuver. So actually, there's a decent amount of room in this case. This is a two fan card. You, I think you could fit some small three fans in here. You probably could, yeah. All right, and then that's just like a quick release, so you don't even need to do anything there. Um, now, sometimes these cases aren't like perfect, or sometimes the bracket's a little bent, so just make sure you get this in the right spot. And then uh, that's it. It's really nice that normally when we do these, we have to like upgrade storage and all kinds of stuff, but NVMe, dual channel RAM, uh, new, newer thermal paste, and a nice build. And you have all the stuff you need. I think a SATA power and a SATA data in there, I think. Looks like we got, what is that, two or three extra? Yeah, so if you want to add more storage, you can. Obviously, games are going to use a lot of storage, or so more than 512 would be worth it. But when we're trying to target under $500 to get you up and running to play 1080p medium settings gaming, no problems whatsoever, I'm pretty happy with this. So let's see what this thing can do. Make sure Windows is all good and ready to go. Turn it on, see if anything flashes, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty bland. Let's see. It's already on. <laughs> Turned on on its own. Turned on on its own, but all in all, it looks like a pretty easy option. It could be a budget meta for you at home who don't want to build your first gaming PC and want to do something like this. Let's get to benchmarking and show you what it can do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are hopping into some Warzone on Black Ops 6, some Resurgence, and we are currently running 1080p on full screen, max FOB, basic preset, no upscale, and we're going to really stretch this 30, 50 legs here. Yeah, this is definitely one of the games where you're not going to get like Fortnite, 120 to 140 plus FPS uh, with this configuration. But uh, if we mess with some upscaling here in a bit, we should get 80 to 90. Hopefully without it, we get close to 60, but we're definitely going to have some dips. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely tested the 3050 a few times on this game. And, um, you know, the 3056 gig, decent card, but obviously uh, it's not designed for AAA titles as its no. first use. But we're still doing okay. It's yeah. just definitely the hard dips below 60 is what you'll notice. But the good news though is we're not getting like any like super stutters or anything. Yeah. So definitely considered playable. Just if you have a higher pressure monitor, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm not getting my frame rate. No, Save don't touch him. my teammate. No, no, I'm horrible. No way. No way. Bro. Yeah, your team got him. <laughs> oh god, that's the issue. There's four bullets. Why is my parachute down? Oh my god. My parachute like almost lost me, I tell you. And my horrible aim right now. Yeah, we'll, uh, what we'll do is once once I die, I'll go ahead and we'll try doing a little upscalation. Goodbye, Michael. Oh, oh God! Oh, no! I got, oh, where did this guy come from? <laughs> We're going to go for performance, not older performance. You know, we, we want the game to still look decent. Oh. oh, oh. We hit those. I need to just, oh my god, I need to not use a normal gun apparently, snipers only for now on. Oh, wow. Mm. Dude, is there just like a- Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You might as well just run the, oh my god. I, that, that guy turned around and I can <laughs> feel. There's a lot of fighting going on there. Oh! No. Oh, we broke it. <laughs> he we hit broke the, He hit the no scope though. We hit these? He's done. I feel like I'm laying there like a baby. Oh, we, we hit those. Oh! Mm -mm -mm. I'd hate to be him. Oh. Okay. End of day. Oh. Oh, oh God. Yeah. He was sitting <laughs> still. <laughs> no shot. Oh, I just threw that so hard, dude. It's so fake. <gasps> oh, I just fell. Where the hell did we just go? <laughs> what was that going? <laughs> Level one? <laughs> All right, well, um, since the return is disabled, I think it's good to call it there. So yeah, this is a PC that um, DLSS worked amazing on and any game that has upscaling, I would honestly use it. Next game. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite, specifically OG Fortnite, currently running DX11 1080p unlimited frame rate, far view distance, low textures, the usual. We're gonna drop to retail row real quick, see what we can do. I'm excited to see how this does because the main reason I like this configuration more than the other ones we've done with the 3056 gig is this is the most CPU horsepower we've had to work with in an i5-12400. 
Should be much better for games like this when running lower details. Should be able to get a high refresh rate experience at a pretty good price point. And right now, running pretty smooth. So we'll see how it holds up once we land. But this is a good example of someone who just doesn't want to build a PC or has one of these office PCs, wants a really quick and easy way to get it up and running for gaming. As you can see right here, a little bit of stutter, but hopefully things will iron out and we should be getting a 100 plus FPS experience. Oh, yep. I figured that was gonna happen. Break you. All right, so let's drop somewhere else. How about Pleasant Park? Uh, oh God, run out of ammo. We're getting 200 FPS, baby, on this really easy to put together system. I am very impressed with this. Want to peek? Oh goodness. I have like no ammo to really contest this. I have one bullet. Woo. Let's move this way. He is. Oh! This is bold. Ah! That was a horrible play on my part. Ah! Why did I do that? So that gun has like no range, but that worked. Oh, he's he's a tickle away. <laughs> oh no, that's oh okay, I'm gonna die. And I'm dead. You know what? That's fine. You got a couple kills. Um, Lord Fart Inhale. That's Fortnite for you guys. Is this PC the best bang for buck PC you can build on a budget? No. Is this one of the easiest ways to play games like Fortnite, Valorant, CS, and get a higher refresh rate experience without being intimidated to get into the PC space? If you don't want to build one your own, you don't want to buy a pre-built? Most certainly. Again, this is never going to be the best bang for buck option, but considering it's super easy to put together, and if you already have one of these desktops, slapping in the GPU just makes it a gaming system. I think this is a really cool configuration. I'm excited we're able to test it, but let's test it in some other games. Show you guys the limits of it because it's not perfect. There's going to be games that it won't run great at, but we'll run those benchmarks and then come to a conclusion about this PC. All right, guys, so we just got done benchmarking this old HP here, and I will say, this thing is really good in terms of running DLSS in the games that support it, or even FSR if you need to. Um, the 12400 does a really good job at carrying the 3050 in the titles that it can't quite perform in, but at the end of the day, it can play pretty much any esports title and AAA title with enough help. In terms of the other games we tested, we threw a couple different games into the rotation. We ran God of War at 1080p on original settings with no upscaling, got 60 FPS. Show you guys without upscaling, you can run some AAA titles at 60 FPS. We ran Marvel Rivals at 1080p low settings, native resolution, and got 60 plus FPS as well. And 30 Mark Times Five score was 5,115, which is only a nine cent per point score. Really, with this configuration, is it gonna be the best bang for buck versus doing deal hunting yourself? No, we've done a lot of build guides. You can build custom PCs at this price point that might actually perform better but if you're intimidated at all to get into pc gaming and want a very easy way to let's say upgrade the pc you already have or buy one of these and just add a graphics card watching this video this is a really easy no stress way to get into pc gaming and if you want to buy all the stuff from today's video links description down below will be a fill links so they will help us out let us know what you think of this gaming pc down below and are you considering building one yourself so as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech for a great price. PCBros.tech, we sell gaming PCs that we feature here on the YouTube videos on Toasty Bros. And also have other PCs that are just exclusive to PC Bros. So head to the website, see what we got. Use code Toasty Bros on checkout. You'll save 3% your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye.